Up until now, we've been working with expressions in Dr. Racket. In this lecture, we're going to go a bit beyond that and learn how to write a simple but complete program. Let's suppose that a restaurant is running a special. If you buy chicken nuggets, they'll give you three extra nuggets for free. We'd like to write a program that consumes the number of nuggets that someone buys and produces the total number of nuggets that the customer will get. Let's try some examples to see how this works. If someone buys one nugget, then we add three free nuggets to the one that they bought, and we get the answer of four. Similarly, if they buy two nuggets, we add three to the two that they've bought. And just the same, if they buy five nuggets, we add three to the five that they bought, and we get eight. So from these examples, we can see a pattern that helps us understand how to write a program. We add three to the number of nuggets that the customer purchases. Using this information, we can create a program. We can choose an appropriate name for our program and then write the definition. Since the program produces the total number of nuggets, a good name for our program is simply total nuggets. So to do that, we begin with an open parenthesis and then the word define to define a function an open parenthesis, then the name of our function or program, call it total nuggets, and then we put in names for the things that the program consumes. In this case, it consumes the number of purchased nuggets, so we'll call our input purchased nuggets, and since that's all of the inputs for the function, we close the parentheses, press return to go to the next line, and we enter the expression that will compute the total number of nuggets using information about the purchased nuggets. So we want to add three to the number of nuggets that we've purchased, and that will tell us the total number of nuggets that the customer should get. Now we can run this program and we can test it using the examples that we made up earlier. And we can make sure that we get the results that we expect. As you can see here, because the expression turned black and orange, this code has not been tested yet. So we'll run our program by having total nuggets and we use the number one and we expect to get back four. And sure enough, that works. We try the other examples we thought of. In case total nuggets of two and the total nuggets five. And we see that everything works out just as we had expected it to. So here we've created a simple program using the information for our problem statement. We wanted to consume the number of nuggets a customer purchased and produce the total number of nuggets. So even though this is a very simple program, the steps we took to write it will be the same for any kind of program. In the next few lectures, we'll expand on this and explain how to build more complicated and complex programs.